finishing P.5, solving equations graphically, numerically, and algebraically. Let's go and look at example five. Solve the equation graphically. We're gonna go to y equals n we have x to the third using the hi hat for exponents to the put you up in the exponent third so we're gonna arrow over x cubed minus x minus one graph and I'm gonna go to zoom six for a standard ten by ten zoom. Start from the beginning and see if I need to adjust this. I can see that I have an x-intercept that is between 1 and 2. And that's what I'm looking for to solve. I'm going to fix my window and have it zoom in more. I could just do zoom. Number 2. Then you hit enter. What do you want to zoom in on? There's a tiny little cursor at the origin right now. Tiny little thing. Thinking. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. That's where I want to zoom in. I'm going to hit enter. And I can really see that a lot better. I could use my trace button to see approximately what that's going to be 1.329. If I put down that x is approximately 1.329. Three, two, nine, seven. Okay, that was using the trace button. What if I want to calculate that zero? I can calculate in the blue. Calculate. So I need to make sure that I'm pushing second and then trace. And I want to calculate a zero, an x intercept, a zero. Number two. It's asking for left bound. Well, on the left hand side of that, I would be on the bottom part of the function, would be on the left hand side. On the left, when I hit enter, there'll be an arrow that pops up and says it's going to start looking there. There's the arrow. Now it's asking for a right bound. So I need to be on top of the function. Here on top, I am on the right hand side of the x intercept. Enter. Hit enter again, and it says 1.329. 1 and then it stopped. So it's exactly that number. Now I can check this. Quit. And I would like to store that number in X. 1.329. One eight. Here's the store button. S T O R. Right here. Store. Where do I want to store it? I want to store it in my variable x. Enter. All right. Now what I can do? I can check to see if that's true. So we have x to the third. Uh, where are we? Minus x. Minus one, and when I hit enter, it says that when this x is substituted in here, I get 1.87. So, calculator says that we get 1.82335. And then it says e to the negative seven. That means I need to move my decimal. This is like scientific notation. I need to move my decimal seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's like 0.182335. That's pretty close to zero. 0.18 is just about zero. And that is how I can approximate solutions. Approximating is not exact. We stored this in X. Calculator, we punched in x cubed minus x minus 1. 
her. And that was the answer that we got. We can also approximate solutions using tables. Here is the function that I already have to my graphing calculator. I know it's between one and two, and I'm looking for when y is zero. Negative, 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 and then it goes to positive. So between negative 0.1 and 0.3, that is where zero is. So my number is between 1.3 and 1.4. Now I would like to break that down even more. So let's go to the hundreds place. Table set. We're going to go to 0 0.01. And I would like to start at 1.3. All right, starting at 1.3, we're approaching 0. Negative 0 0.02 is 0 0.02. So we're between 1.32 and 1.33. I could go another decimal place, and I want to start at 133. So start at 1.33, and let's go to the thousands place. Tens, hundreds, thousands. And 133. Go back up to look where the negative is. Here we go. The negative is at 1.324, and then the positive is at 1.325. If I look at my previous answer, we had 1.324. And right now, I'm saying that it's between 1.324 and 1.325. All right, here in the final part, it says from... We saw that it was 1.32 and 1.33, and so we went and zoomed in even more between 1.324 and 1.325. We can see, because all such numbers round to 1.32, we can report the zero as 1.32 with our x is approximately 1.32. Okay, that takes care of P5. Let's look at some more homework problems. All right. Don't forget that you can correct your homework assignments. What you need to do is do your corrections on a new piece of paper, pass in the new corrections with the original work. Please don't erase any work that you've done. Leave the original work so I can look back at it, or you can look back to see what your mistakes were. And then you need to let me know that you've done corrections. You can email me and then I will go and take a look at it.